Arsenal fan TV bully, you know I've got to put it to you about the referee today. I mean, well, some big decisions. Um, Granite Jacko, was that a sending off for you? Not for me. It uh, wasn't anywhere near as bad as the tackle that went in on Giroud in the first half, which didn't even get a booking. Okay. Okay. He slid in a bit early, but he's got us. He as Mo said, like he has got to start learning. He has been putting in some rash challenges where he's either slidden in a bit too late or slidden in too early. Like mm. you've got. But problem is they don't get taught out to tackle. They're supposed to actually know that themselves. It's mm. about time they need to be taught out to tackle. All right. But, so. Incident number two. Um, their penalty. Well, it didn't look like a penalty to me from where I was, but mm. uh, I haven't seen seen it on the replay. So, okay. uh, and a, 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 an incident number three, our one. Our one. Well, he nearly took Lauren's head off. <laughs> right, and then, and then then the ref like only giving me a yellow card. It's like <laughs> my, my, my disbelief was that at first it looked to me like the referee weren't even going to give a penalty. Exactly, and, I, and that's the worrying thing because um, somebody was saying to me it looked like it was a linesman who gave it. I mean, I, I'm, if the referee didn't give that, I'm worried because I don't know, maybe when you watch it back on TV, but he looked like he kicked his head off. Yeah, it, it looked like that, but uh, people have been saying that he was offside. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll have to see the replay, but uh, to be honest, it looked the way it was going, it looked like Moss was fixing it for 1-1. <laughs> like in the same way, more on Mariner did, like by uh, not seeing the push on Sterling, like <laughs> just yeah, yesterday. Been, that's been some you know pretty I mean? poor refereeing decisions recently. Like, they want, they want, they want the cameras to come in, so they deliberately make these mistakes. The TV want the cameras in, because they'll still then make the mistakes, and then they'll be showing it all, and they'll get everybody like talking about it on the social media and everything else like that and that's what will sell the papers that's what will keep sky and all that lot still in jobs <laughs> now it was a vital three points vital that we got them and uh, you know c games like this can sometimes prove to be a bit of a turning point yeah definitely normally when when the results go for us and we've got the late kickoff like mm. or a later kickoff than the other mm. teams and uh, the other teams have all slipped up we normally end up slipping up afterwards as well and don't mm. take advantage of it. So uh, at least uh, today we've got the three points and we're back where we belong, above Tottenham, right, not below them. <laughs> Can we go further this season? And, you know, it's all right going above Tottenham, that's nothing special. We want to win something this season. Well, we've got to stop, keep coming out on the pitch and thinking uh, we've already won the game against teams like this and actually go out there and perform and win the game. If it means winning it in the first half, like, do that and then shut up shop in the second half. Don't just leave it for the last 10 minutes. Like, we had some glorious chances today to put the ball in the back of the net. Giroud, I thought, slow again. Mm. Like, he doesn't move around enough. Alexi was trying to do it all. Nacho made a quite a few good, good runs. Um, Mesut should have had a couple of goals himself. But uh, we've got to start working and wanting it more. Right? Giroud seems to have signed his contract and it's like, oh look, the work's done now, I ain't got to do anything. <laughs> <laughs>